Are you planning on adding stunning real estate trees to your next blender scene? In this video, I'll talk about an add-on that could help you with that. Tree Machine Tree Machine is a powerful new add-on for creating realistic trees in Blender. It's packed with 8K textures, root system, dynamic wind movement and a lot more procedural features thanks to the power of Blender Geometry Nodes. Once you have purchased the add-on, you will get access to multiple files, tree spawner add-on and the tree library. I ran into some small hiccups with the zip files so I recommend using this alternative link to download the tree library. It's a large file so give it a few minutes. Once you have downloaded, extract the tree library zip file. Inside there will be a blend file containing all the tree data. Then in Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons. Click this down arrow and select Install from Disk. Locate the tree spawner zip file we downloaded first. Install it. Once installed, the add-on will ask you to locate the tree library blend file. Just point to the file you extracted earlier. Make sure to select the blend file, not the folder. And hit Accept. And just like that, we have successfully installed the tree machine into Blender. Adding trees is super simple. Just press Ctrl T and you will see this window pop up. In there, you have access to half a dozen tree species, each available in multiple texture resolution from 1K to 8K+. Pick your resolution, then click the button below the tree to add it to your scene. The trees are compatible with both Cycles and EV, which is awesome. Now let's talk about some of the settings you can customize in the Modifiers tab. Here this checkbox toggles on and off the preview mode. You can see here it remeshes the trunk. This is how the tree will render once you hit the render button. But for the viewport, you can keep this on for better performance. Then you have the option to adjust the branches resolution, their circular profile and the segments along the branch. You can also change the length of the root system. This is a great way to add a realistic base where the trunk meets the ground. For close-up of the trunk, you can enable the displace bark option to add more details to the trunk. Increase this trunk resolution to the level you want. Level 2 and 3 is ideal for most renders. If you want your branches to face a certain direction, such as towards the sun, add an empty to the scene and then select it from here. Now when you move the empty, the branches will face the empty's direction. Since I added an empty arrow, to visualize this better, I can add track to constraints to the empty and select the tree object. Now it will have this guideline and the arrow itself will face the right direction. You can turn on and off the leaves and use these settings to add wind motion to simulate a gentle swaying. Try not to go too far off from the default values. If you want to change the overall tree size, each species will have tree size variations to choose from in the tree spawner pop-up. So, if you like to create trees for us with infinite variations, Tree Machine is a solid add-on to have in your toolkit. Check out this add-on from the link in the description to get an exclusive 10% discount. And if you haven't already, watch my breakdown on how I made Stellar Blade inspired cinematic in Blender. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.